What's up, guys? I'm just a gamer, and I'm back with another reaction video. Uh, Paramount has released a second trailer for the TV Halo series, and if you watched my reaction to the first trailer, you'll know that I have some misgivings about the direction this show is going. Um, just some story beats that I feel are a little too cliched or... I personally feel they don't really fit the Halo vibe, but again, the show comes out next week. I'll know for sure then, you know, after watching maybe an episode or two to see if I like it or not. But for now, let's just check out this trailer and see if it impresses me. Oh my god, is that Jackson? Something sacred. Something worth protecting. Hmm. All right. That was the second trailer for the Halo series coming to Paramount Plus next week. And again, uh, there was just nothing really in there that grabbed me. Some of it felt a little too. I don't want to say say me because that'd be that's that's not fair. I can't say it's say me, but I don't know. There was just something about it that it just doesn't grab me. Does it? There's something on there that just sets me on edge. I don't know if maybe it's the character, some of the characterization of some of the characters or what. I'm not sure. One aspect though that I am kind of intrigued by is this series delving more into the um, unlawfulness of what technically Halsey and the UNSC did to these children. I always felt that in the Halo series, it's really glossed over and like they've always, you know, in the, in the Halo anime, they make a big deal out of it. And it always felt like there were no repercussions for these people, or even Holdy that did this, that they did these terrible things to these children, bordering on illegal. And there just never seemed to be any repercussions for it in the game or in the animes. And seeing this series showing that it might dive into that, into actually showing them being held accountable for these atrocities, I find that kind of interesting because it and i always again i always felt it was so weird that like they always gloss over what happened to john and them and 
John and them are just like, yeah, it happened. We're okay with it. It's fine. It was for the greater good. And yeah, sure. But like a lot of kids died. A lot of kids were kidnapped against their will, indoctrinated basically. And yeah, I just glosses right over that. I don't, I haven't really read any of the novelizations. So maybe the novelizations, they go into a bit more about that. But I always felt like kind of off, like it was kind of off-putting to me that they never showed any repercussions for what these people did to these children. It's such a, again, horrible thing they did. And yeah, we get the Spartans now and they're cool and badass and all that. But like, it would still doesn't change the fact that they kidnapped these kids, replaced them with clones that were going to die within a year from an uncurable disease that they just so happened to have so that the families wouldn't end up missing them. It's just very dark and heartbreaking. And I just always felt mad at the fact that no one ever felt any repercussions. No one ever, you know, was held accountable for that. And again, maybe I'm wrong. It's been a while since I've played the games. And like I said, I've never played, I never read any of the novelizations. So maybe there's more to it there. But that's how it always came off to me. And that's what always kind of like, I was kind of put off by that. So seeing the sh that the show might delve into that has piqued my interest. That is one aspect of the show that I am actually kind of excited to see. So, yeah. But that's my reaction. Those are my thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like or comment down below. I'd appreciate any and all feedback. Follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, take care and have a good game.